radian and degree measurement and now we are getting into trigonometric ratios for each trigonometric ratio use a sketch to determine related acute angle and sine of ratio okay so let's do for sine 4 pi by 3 so let's try to sketch the angle 4 pi by 3 how do you sketch 4 pi by 3 so what do you need to do is you have to divide your pi in three equal parts. So this is your pi, zero to pi, right? This one is pi, and here it is zero, right? And you go counterclockwise for positive angle, correct? Four pi by three means dividing this into three equal parts. Let this be first part, and then we have this. So one, two, three, but we need four, right? So let's divide, extend this line further. We can do this also. So what really happens is, sketch the related, okay. Use a sketch to determine related acute angle and sine of the ratio. So we know initial arm is here. Now four pi by three lands where? Terminal arm will be one, two, three, four. So that is four pi by three. So this is four pi by three. Correct? This is our principal angle, correct? Now, so we know it is in quadrant number three. And that's quadrant three. Now, from the cast rule, we know cosine is positive here all are positive, sine is positive and tan is positive and therefore sine 4 pi by 3 is negative, correct? That is one thing we know now. Second, what is the related acute angle? How do you find the related acute angle? Related acute angle is always the angle which the terminal arm makes with the horizontal. So our terminal arm is here. Let me draw it. So how much angle does it make with the horizontal? The angle is this much, correct? That is the related acute angle, correct? Now, so how much should that be? So this is one pi by three, two pi by three, three pi by three, and fourth. So this is pi by three. So this alpha, related acute angle alpha is pi by three, and the quadrant for us is three, and sine 4 pi by 3 is negative because it is negative in quadrant 3. Even otherwise, if you draw your triangle here, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always positive. This side is going down, right? Y is negative and therefore sine is negative. Correct? So that is for sine 4 pi by 3. Now let's see about cos 3 pi by 4. So let's do the same thing, try to sketch cos 3 by pi by 4. Here this is pi, this is pi by 2, and 3 pi by 4 should be, let's divide r pi by 2 into equal halves. So this becomes pi by 4, correct? 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, I need to divide this also. So we get this, 3 pi by 4. So this is 1, 2, and 3. So that is 3 pi by 4 for us. That's a principal angle. Now we are in quadrant 2. Related acute angle alpha for us is with the horizontal. So the angle is pi minus 3 pi by 4, which is the fourth pi by 4, or we can say pi by 4. So that's the related acute angle for us. And for cos, you know the cos rule, cos is positive in quadrant 4 and in quadrant 1. Correct? So cos is negative here. It's in quadrant 2 and it is negative. Correct? So that's all it is. So Castrol says C A S T. Correct? So we have sine positive in quadrant 2, 
all others are negative. So cos is also negative. Even otherwise, cos is what? Cos is adjacent over this side and this is minus x. Therefore, cos is negative.